Welcome to baselining the registry with LogMD and then how to use that in a compare. With all versions of LogMD, again, to understand the version you're on as well as what options are available to you, the minus H will always get you there and we're going to focus at the baselining and compare of the registry. The idea here is we're going to take a snapshot of the registry using the registry baseline option and it will record all the current settings of a system. So you can do this for example with your gold image that your company may have or a custom image that you create or a brand new image that you created taking a snapshot of that. If you were using a, this in a malware lab you would take a snapshot of the box after you configured it before infection and then compare it after to afterwards. And what you're going to get are all the added, changed, and deleted keys that occurred once you do a comparison between the reg baseline and the current state of the system. So let's go ahead and run reg baseline. How long it will take will depend on how fast your system is and how many keys there are, but generally this takes anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. Once the baseline is complete, it'll create a reg baseline text file like you see right here. We can take a look at that. And you can see that it has all, it will contain all the items that are in the registry for all users and everything on the system. Now what you do with that is you would carry that around with you, keeping a master, put it on a central server where you can call it anytime you investigate a system and look at or compare the current state of the machine that you're investigating to a known good reg baseline snapshot, which will eliminate all the settings that are in the reg baseline to the system that's there. So it's a lot less to look at. In order to kick off a reg compare, you would just change the B to a C, pointing it to wherever the baseline is. It's in the same directory here, so we don't have to worry about it. And we go ahead and run the reg compare. It will check the integrity of the baseline, make sure it's not corrupted. And then it will go ahead and do the comparing of the system to the reg baseline. Once the registry compare completes, you'll be able to look at what changed on the system compared to that reg baseline. The longer the system's been up and running, or the more that is done to it, or the difference of the system, user A may look much different than user B, there'll be many more entries. But again, the reg baseline and all the settings that are normal to the system will be eliminated, making it much easier to compare the two. And as you can see, the values are significantly different in size. So now if we look at the reg compare, you will see items that have been added. So if this was a run key, for example, for malware, you would see it here. In this case, you can see that uh, LogMD free was captured in regards to uh, the registry. A Windows 10 security feature, seeing LogMD did something. And then you'll see all the keys that have changed. So the run key would be a great place to, to start here. If it was already populated, you would see the difference, what was added to it. And of course, keys that were removed from the system, making it easy for you to compare the two systems or compare a suspect to a known good system. And that's how you do a reg baseline and compare.